I don't want to cry for Mr. Khan today. I wasn't expecting to. I didn't know what I was signing up for, y'all. Mr. Khan have daddy issues too? Noah Khan is a sad boy. He is not okay. I'm not okay. Are you okay, babes? Are y'all okay? Like, I don't know. I'm worried about us. Wait. <laughs> I mean, I never heard anybody put it like this, but the fact that it's called Halloween, but it wasn't Halloween, he just feels spooked. Hey babes, it's Tour Top Music Box and welcome back to the channel. So, I have seen a few requests on the channel for Stick Season by Noah Khan and y'all want this album reaction so here you go, I'm beating delivering and I genuinely have never, I genuinely don't believe I've ever heard a Noah Khan song. I literally just looked up how to pronounce his last name because I didn't want to seem like a dumbass on the channel. <laughs> I did my due diligence and I did my research, bitch. Oh shit. This album came out in 2022, so am I late to the game? Yes, I'm sorry. Apologies in advance, but there's just so much good music out there, y'all. I'm, I'm not trying to plead my case, but like I am. Like I'm sorry that I've been sleeping. I don't really know what to expect. I wasn't gonna really react to this because I'm not- I didn't think I would be into his music or his voice. I thought he would be like country music, which I'm still not sure if he is. I hope not because I'm not a super big country music fan. No disrespect, it's just not usually my vibe. There's a very few select people that I like. Dolly Parton insert here, but but then I seen he had like a live lounge cover or something. I'll insert like a clip here, but he did a cover of Lacey by Olivia Rodrigo and I was like... Lacey, skin like perfect pastry. Hey, Mr. Khan, like maybe I should listen to the babes and react because he was serving. Like, he was serving vocals. He was serving emotion. And maybe I'm like, wow, maybe I'm a dumb bitch and I really should listen to him. Like I said, I don't know what genre of music he is, but you know what? But we're gonna give it a shot. Who knows? He could be country and I could fall in love. I have no idea. It's really just like a chance when you listen to someone you never heard them. But y'all never steer me wrong. Y'all always give me good recs and I'm always pleased after I listen. I'm never like, I didn't like the recommendations they gave me. I'm always like, oh my God, I'm such a dumb bitch. And I always apologize. Stick Season, No Con's album has 14 songs and it is 55 minutes and 28 seconds. So it's a, a rather long one, but that doesn't scare me away, bitch. Like give me a long track. Like, give me some emotion and production and lyrics. Like I'll eat it up, okay? I'm looking at the track list like literally right now. Some of the ones that are really calling out to me are New Perspective. It's kind of just making me think about that Panic at the Disco song, New Perspective. But also, Growing Sideways, that sounds really painful. And like, it's making me just like, oh, like I'm just cringing at the thought of growing sideways so i'm really interested in that track as well because i love a painful track i'm also interested in the last track as well the view between villages i think there's something pretty about looking at a view that has nothing surrounding it like there's you know no city no village whatever it would just be like open country i think that's like really pretty so maybe he'll like touch on that in that track I'm nervous as always. I don't know what to expect. I know he's got a good voice, so I'm not really worried about not liking his sound. It's more just like the style of music. First track on this album is called Northern Attitude. Northern Attitude? I know we got Southern Hospitality. I'm from the South. I can for sure say people from the, the South are very friendly and welcoming for the most part. For the most part, anywhere you go, people are like, hey, how are you? How can I help you? Southern Hospitality is real. So I'm wondering what he means by northern attitude. Is there different attitudes? You know, do people act different? Are we cold? Like the weather? I don't know. Let's go, let's find out. Disclaimer, um, I have an energy drink in this cup because I'm a tired ass bitch. I'm not turning up to this album or anything. It's literally an energy drink. I'm trying to wake up because I'm tired. I feel like Noah Khan girls wouldn't drink energy drinks. Like, hear me out. I feel like they would drink warm oat milk lattes with maybe like a little vanilla syrup in them that's just kind of energy like it's giving okay <laughs> i'm gonna shut up now let's get into the first track it's called northern attitude 
Ooh. Already beautiful strumming. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. How you been? Settle down. You build a life. You lose your friends. You lose your wife. The routine. Where are you? Does it mean? Oh, yikes. This is already going kind of hard. Oh my god. Are you okay? No, what have you been through, sir? It's not sounding country, but it's more folky, which I'm not, I haven't dabbled too much into like folk music, but I, I like it so far. But these bars, you build a boat, you build a life, you lose your friends, you lose your wife, you settle into routine. Where are you? What does it mean? Um, sir, I didn't ask you to come at me like that. What the hell? Honestly, that's like, honestly, that's really sad though. I feel like especially the losing your friends and losing your wife, did, did he get divorced? <laughs> this is gonna be a trauma dumping album. I'm not gonna be okay if that's what it is. Okay, we're back. We're running through the forest. Yes, I knew it was gonna be about the cold, bitch. I knew it. Forgive my northern attitude. Oh, I was raised down in the cold. That was sad, though. If I get too close and I'm not how you hoped. What happens to this man? The guitar strumming is insane. Bought some shit. Search online. Oh, right. And hide. All alone. Late in life. Lose your kids. You lose your life. Mr. Khan, what the hell? The rocks. Man, it just sounds like he's... Feels to the point where he's like too settled into his like routine and he's lost some good things in his life and he just seems kind of unhappy. Oh, okay. Why am I getting cold? Why am I getting chills? What is going on? Oh my god, okay. This is really different than when I, the type of music I usually listen to, so I'm trying to get used to it. The lyrics are the lyricing. The lyrics are lyricing. Like, they're hitting. But the, the production's a little different than what I usually listen to. I'm getting the sad girl energy already. Like, I'm trying not to tear up here. This is really sad. A really real emotion that a lo I'm sure a lot of people feel. That's why it's so sad. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Oh, I was raised on Little Light. Like, it just sounds like he was raised on some negativity and darkness and coldness. Like, was there any warmth, light, positivity? Have questions, Noah? Guitar, he is shredding. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, that was scary. He said sick. <laughs> and then he laughed. Um, are we mentally okay? What's going on? <laughs> Honestly, like, had some of the th some of the things I predicted in the beginning kind of were in the song, like you know how nor people from the north are more cold. They don't have the southern hospitality. Definitely, like I said, I don't usually listen to like folky music, so it's definitely I'm diving into something a little new that, you know, getting out my comfort zone and shit, but I really like his voice. His lyrics were hitting. I felt the sadness in my heart about what he was singing, and I just have seen people go through that, that feeling of just boredom and like stuck in your routine and like losing people and just like, you know, how do you get over that and how do you come out of feeling like that i guess we're gonna get into the next track i don't want to cry i just 
filmed a super ache reaction if you want to check that out but i was tearing the hell up in that one i don't want to cry for mr khan today i wasn't expecting to i didn't know what i was signing up for y'all all right the next track is called stick season i'm looking at the album cover and there's a dog with a stick in his mouth i'm assuming like he plays fetch with his dog and maybe it's like stick season like with his pet like the summer or the spring or something and he plays outside with his pet and it's like a better feeling than the cold winter maybe like the harsh winter i don't know let's find out <laughs> travel but there's COVID on the planes. Ah, trauma. Yeah, he sounds like he's in a point where he's just super down. I mean, the whole line about and memories or something, even smoking weed does not replace. He sounds like he's stuck in a really dark place. And, you know, he thought his life was going to be something with this person and it turned, it didn't turn out the way he thought and they left him in the dark. Doesn't seem like they really gave him a lot of warning either. I'm not sure. I'm not sure like exactly what he's getting at, but. Kind of makes me feel like he wasn't giving enough to the relationship like he was just kind of stuck in his routine and wasn't keeping it interesting and exciting and maybe like i guess the girl maybe she wasn't also trying or maybe she was trying and he wasn't like reciprocating the energy or maybe neither one of them tried and she just decided to go find something new instead of working on the relationship that they had together or like she might have tried and he just might not have like reciprocated the energy and she left like i'm not sure it's weird how he said he saw her mom in the store and you know, he's drinking his alcohol because it, I guess, you know, he's sad and it helps him cope smoking weed. Especially the line, and it's half my fault, but I just like to play the victim. That line too is really making me think that they both weren't trying. And she just decided to move away because she was tired of the same old routine. Routine is needed in life to feel stable. If I didn't have a routine, I wouldn't feel stable. Because like, I've definitely not had routines before and I felt really unwell and not okay. But I do like to be spontaneous and change things up. You just gotta communicate. I think communication with partners is like really important also. It sounds like a really ill situation where it was like they just didn't talk. And it just ended without really any like closure or something. I don't know. Um. Does Mr. Khan have daddy issues too? I saw your mom she forgot that i existed like it just makes me think that he wasn't like he clearly has a lot of feelings he is writing them down in these goddamn songs the lyrics are lyricing like i said but maybe he just like wasn't expressing that to his partner and the family didn't really care for him maybe or they just not even care but they didn't have like they were kind of just indifferent to him this is all speculation also like i have no idea about this man's life please don't come at me but i'm just like for through the lyrics it's what it makes me feel you know I'm also just like, it's the season of the sticks. Like, people refer to people as sticks, like they're just a stick, you know? They're just like boring, they're not interesting. Does he mean like people in Vermont? Like, it's the season of the sticks. Like, all the people who were interesting and like all that, they, they left. 
and they only come home for Christmas because he's like my friends come home for Christmas and we drink so it's the season of the six like all the boring people and there's like nothing to do is that what he's getting at like I don't really know that's what it's making me feel I guess <laughs> Stick season, it really just makes me think of not doing enough and someone just not like anything being bad about them or anything at all. That's not even it. It's just they're not giving enough. They're just okay and that's not enough for a lot of people. Stick season is interesting. Let me know what y'all think about stick season. I think it's deeper than what I even can tell. So let me know what you think about that track. I really liked that one though because it, it just it really brings like a lot of thoughts to my mind and I'm really just able to think about a lot of different things. Things. so I really like it. it also sounded good as well I liked the production on that one there was some kind of like banjo or something in the background at one point I liked that the next track is called all my love <laughs> Whew, what are we getting into Noah I feel maybe like he didn't give all his love and time and effort into the slash relationship it kind of sounds like so maybe he's gonna give all his love to the next one or you know take me back i'll give you all my love type vibes i don't know bro okay <laughs> folks still talk when they speak in these two word sentences <sighs> i just could never like i'm just gonna be really raw and honest with y'all i could never be in a relationship like that that just wouldn't be enough for me simple and plain and i can't have friendships like that either like i need passion behind my relationship my friendships like i just don't feel anything that would just make me feel so unhappy and I also hold myself accountable. Like, I have to give as well. Like, it's not just about other people giving. You have to give too. Like, I always constantly check myself. And I'm like, am I giving enough? Am I giving all my effort, you know, as much as I can? Yada, yada. I just feel like, oh, like, just thinking the imagery of that. Just two people talking. It's like, how's your day? They're like, good. How's yours? Good. And y'all just like eating your dinner. Oh my God. Like, oh. No to keep out all the cold of your like maybe like they're catching up after some time of being broken up or something and you know he doesn't have any bad blood with her this person left vermont and he doesn't know who this person is anymore but he still has all the love for them and he's still in his same old routine playing with the dogs and just throwing sticks i don't know like what sorry y'all this song is just giving like besides like the cold aspect and like being from north it is just giving a smothered a smothered oh my god <laughs> southern small town vibe of a, a guy who just is there and he's stuck in just his old ways of in the routine and i don't know that's what it, i feel listening to this oh i don't know i feel like this is just sad for me to listen to Um, Mr. Khan. Aww. I feel like he still loves this person. So hung 
love on this person. <sighs> I feel like sad for some reason. Like, I don't know if he like ever like wanted to grow. If he just wants to stay in the small town and. And like the person he loved like just grew out of that and wanted to see like other parts and you know he still has all this love for this person like he's still the same person but they're not even though they used to love him they can't be with not even necessarily him but the life he wants to live just isn't like gonna work for that other person like ah i feel like that's such a scary thing like to fall in love and then you want a different type of life and that person isn't willing to they don't even have to change but they're not willing to compromise on things like let's say like one person wants to live in a small town and one person wants to live in a city how can you compromise on that maybe you can move to like a happy medium kind of just repeating the past of his parents which he says he was sick of the same old routine but it just kind of seems like that's what's happening and that is just so true for so many people i think i'm about to leave the chat like i just i don't know like dude that i can't i can't i can't this is like this is bringing up some really like deep deep baggage I can run, but I can't hide from my we're gonna get on to the next track it's called she calls me back i'm definitely like oh shit like she wasn't answering when he was trying to call and now she's gonna call him back <laughs> What is gonna go down in this phone call? I'm nervous as I hope that that wasn't a real phone number. It seems like there's a number left out, so I don't think that's the real number. But um, ciao. Anyway, so that I do not exist to die, but live to die while saving you. Does it bite at your edges? Do you lie awake, restless? Why am I so obsessive, hanging on to every sentence? I don't know. It just kind of seems like he get so enthralled when she calls him back and i don't know he hangs on to that i guess also look there was heaven in your eyes i was not baptized like i was not saved like because you won't be saved you know religiously like you won't be saved if you're not baptized or whatever so she didn't save him she left him i don't know bro <laughs> should have saved oh i was too afraid of living life in your footsteps i feel like i'm so confused by this song like is he regretting that maybe she wanted to move and wanted to start a new life somewhere else out of this town that they grew up in or something and he didn't want to go and he was because he was too afraid of you know only doing it for her and not for him but now he regrets it because you know he feels happy when she calls him back. Like, I'm not sure. So she calls me back. So she calls me back. Also, like, she still calls him back. So whether she's still in love with him or she's giving him false hope that they're going to get back together, I don't know. She needs to stop and he needs to not want it because 
it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work i don't know bro like i'm confused i feel like you just have to cut off ties especially like when he's saying he's so obsessive like he's asking himself why am i so obsessive i feel like if he doesn't cut the cord you know he can't get over it it seems like he just isn't able to do that i don't know oh no the next track is called come over hope it's not she calls me back girl oh my god I need to get my shit together right now all right, let's do it. Come over. I'm worried. <laughs> Who the hell was coming over? Like, even people are talking about him, how sad he is. It seems, dude, it seems like this relationship wrecked him. The eyes are the windows. The garage is the mouth. Super interesting lyric there. I get the eyes is the windows. Like, people can look through your windows and spy on you, but I don't get the garage is the mouth part. A little confused about that. Maybe that's why people come walk up to you and talk. I don't know. Oh, dude, this is sad as hell. Like, I just... He is not okay. I'm not okay. Are you okay, babes? Are y'all okay? Like, I don't know. I'm worried about us. family can fit in it it feels like a fortress when the weather gets bad it protects them you know it's a shelter it's simple things you know just having like a home simple and then interesting how he says his foot could fit in his mouth it's like he was choking on words he couldn't you know he couldn't think of anything to say and the stocks weren't doing good i guess the finances weren't looking good in his life but he's like i promise you like this view in the morning like when you see this, when you see how beautiful it is to wake up every morning and look at this view right in front of us, this beautiful nature, you won't ever go back. Like it's so pretty. I'm not crying today. Y'all not getting me to cry today. I'm not doing it. This track's not getting me. Oh, the guitar. and I turn a profit each time we speak. You know, he is constantly battling for her interest because she's really just seems like she's kind of like lingering on to him but not interested and he turns a profit. Like he gets his payout emotionally for himself every time she answers the phone when he calls or she calls him back, he gets a profit. It makes him feel good. It makes him feel stable, which is so scary. Oh. There's a coffin buried under the garden was there when we got here. What does that mean? There when we leave. <sighs> that song almost got me. It almost got me, but I'm so glad I'm okay because 
I don't have time to be going to take mental health breaks right now. I don't have time for this. Like, I need to film this reaction. Like, I'm trying to film this reaction. I got stuff to do later, but I almost needed to take a mental health break from that track. <sighs> I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that track. Like, I loved it, actually, but I hated it. Like, it made me feel some kind of way. It's such a real feeling, and I feel like a lot of people forget how many small towns there is across the United States there or just in general like in the world there are so many small towns where everyone can connect to a lot of these feelings and it's such an emotion emotionally vulnerable feeling for men i feel like to open up about stuff like this and how they feel like i don't know i just really appreciate that he's willing to talk about it because i see it in a lot of men especially where i grew up and i've seen it in a lot of women too and i see why a lot of people leave and things happen or relationships don't work out like I see all of it and it's just it's so interesting to hear a man sing about it because you don't really hear too many men get emotional like this and open up it's just a really cool thing <laughs> and I wish more men would just like talk about their feelings I feel like that would save a lot of the struggles in the relationship if they could just speak about it oh my god okay the next track is called new perspective maybe he's gonna start to look at things from a new perspective that he doesn't need to rely on her calls to feel happiness and to feel like some kind of void that he's having. Maybe the new perspective is him exploring and working on himself and seeing what he needs to do in order to feel his own happiness. Oh, I love the guitar playing in this album. Liberal rednecks get drunk on a dirt road. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm visualizing that. It's funny. I still want to grow up in the South. Like, amen. <laughs> also, um, for some reason when he said dirt road, it made me think of that song. I don't remember who sings it, but it's that song that's like, chilling on a dirt road laid back swerving something like i don't know how the, the words but i just know because i grew up in louisiana and people used to blast that shit i don't, I don't know what it's called i think it's called dirt road but i don't even know who sings it but it made me think about that <laughs> what got a target <laughs> my small town still doesn't have a target <laughs> they're still not a coffee shop <laughs> also just to clarify again I currently don't live there but I still visit there a lot and I'm just like it's there's nothing to do for people they need to make more things for people to do <laughs> you're calling downtown where they got a target i get it i feel like this album i'm starting to relate to a little too hard from, from how i grew up and i'm kind of just like holy could shut you in a closet and drag you back down that sounds personal as hell does he not like new perspective is it hard for him to be open to that i'm a super open-minded person like i will have conversations with anybody and i will listen and i might not agree with you but i will be respectful but maybe he just isn't open to new perspective at all like i'm not sure he doesn't even want to hear it like i don't know he wants to shut it in a closet and it's the way he says and drag you back down like he didn't say and turn things back to the way to the good way that you speak he said and drag you back down it kind of just you know insinuates that it wasn't good before so i wonder why he wants to do that it sounds like sabotage instrumentation on here is so good. Oh, that song, I didn't necessarily 
really like as much as like a lot of the other ones I've been listening to. I also was totally thinking it was gonna go in a different direction than it did, I feel like. Like, I feel like he wants to be stuck in like the sad place, which I get, like it can be relatable to other people, but I wanna see the light come through, bro. Like, like the whole drag you back down, like he doesn't want any new perspective, which I think it's always important to keep your mind open and like, to not be so biased in your thoughts. I think it's really important for people to have, to at least to listen to different perspectives and different things, because if you don't, I feel like you're not growing. You're not allowing yourself to like access to like different ideas and thoughts. And I always think it's good to, you know, be able to, you know, debate each side of the coin, not just like, put down people, you know, put down people and then who feel one way, uplift people who are others. I'm not really, I feel like that's kind of deep, maybe deeper than what he was going on the track, how I'm feeling, but I don't know. I think perspective is super important. I think it's so important to like always, you don't have to change your perspective by any means, but I think it's important to be open to new ideas. Next track is called Everywhere Everything. I feel like I don't know where we're going at this point because that last shag really threw me off. I thought it was going to go in a different direction. So I'm not even making a prediction. We're just going to get into this goddamn track. Ooh, I already like the guitar. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. I want you to ask yourself a serious question right now. Do you think that you would survive in a horror movie. I think I'd be like mid-tier, like I'd be like the person in the middle who gets killed. Like if there's gonna be one person who survives, I'm not the first one that's getting killed, but I'm like in the middle somewhere because I'm not, you know, so oblivious, but I'm also like not a doomsday prepper. So I feel like something gonna happen to me. <laughs> but let me know if you would survive, cause I don't think I would. <laughs> The sun was collapsing, like the worm. Oh, that's beautiful. We didn't know that the sun was collapsing till the seas roll rose and the buildings came crashing. Just like the warmth of the sun, like they didn't. He didn't know that this relationship, the warmth of it, was gonna collapse till the seas rose, till the tears came forward and all the sadness and the buildings came crashing, like everything that made him feel safe, protected, just crashed. Oh gosh, oh, okay, like, stop. Wait, what the f <laughs> I mean, I never heard anybody put it like this, but. <laughs> I want to love you till we're food for the worms to eat till our fingers decompose. I never heard anyone say that before. I think I might have missed that love letter. <laughs> I feel like I can't say that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard, but I like the new perspective. I'm gonna say that. I like the new perspective that he put on, you know, how, what forever means to him, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over these lines. Oh, what made him think of this? Both of them are slaying. Maybe that ain't such a bad thing. Tell you where not to speed. I really like that line. I tell you where not to speed. Bitch, I'm from Louisiana. They don't even have counties, bitch. They got parishes. I love that though, like I'll tell you where not to speed. <laughs> Literally like I have definitely told people that. I'm like, hey, if you're gonna go drive here, like people who have come and visit me or my girlfriend for example, I'll be like, hey, don't speed right here because they always have cops and like you have to go the exact speed limit or they will pull you over. <laughs> like you just know like where the speed traps are because in, I feel like in cities, like you can always speed. It's not condoning that, but it's okay to speed like but you're less inclined to get pulled over for speeding because there's so many other like things happening. Whereas in small towns, there's just not a lot happening. So they're looking for reasons to pull you over. So you gotta be careful. Oh, oh that shit hurts. Oh, such a visual. 
track i just don't think i can get behind the i want to love you to wear food for the worms to eat line i think it's just a little too much for me but the rest of the track i was i was a down bitch i feel like i couldn't have predicted that that's what it was going to be about i feel like i have no idea where this album is going right now i'm really confused the next song is literally called orange juice like are we drinking some sunny d in this small town or are we making a screwdriver some vodka and orange juice what are we doing <laughs> let me find out real quick I oh, love the guitar though, y'all. It's so nice, it's so peaceful and sweet. Honey, come over. instantly making me think about someone who has addiction issues and just someone who stays away from home because they don't want to have to deal with like the repercussions of like what their family thinks about them even if their family does love them i think it's just hard for people to be surrounded by people who know them so well and like want to see the best in them because like they don't want the best in themselves yet i think that's like why addiction is so hard to overcome because you have to get to that place to where it's like i want to overcome this and i want to be better for myself and i'm willing to like put all of this aside because I really want to just be happy. And that's just like not easy. It's easier to like fabricate happiness than to actually like get it in life. Because you got to work really hard. And sometimes you can work really hard and you're still going to have things that don't make you happy. That's what really sucks. But it's the circle of life, bitch. Like, I don't know. It, it's sad, but there's so many things to be grateful for at the same time. Didn't think to ask you. family energy. I can't explain it other than that. Think to ask you where you gone. Oh, that's strange. Don't you find it strange that you just went ahead and carried on. Big out of space now. Passed out there and you're gone. And you know, I'd say the last time I drank, I was face down. Passed out there on your lawn. Are we all just crows to you now? Crows to you now. Oh. Like, are we all just crows to you now? Like, are we, like, eating at you? Just pulling you down. Over. Party's gone slower. You the vocals. We know we got sober. It's orange juice. We're just glad you could be. Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt. I feel like she wasn't in a good place when she was living in this town or, you know, whatever place he's referring to and she had to get out and she left and she like bettered herself and she was able to like find life and like new things and then when she comes back it's like really hard for her because it, it's like brings up a lot of like memories from the past and he's kind of just like no one's gonna tempt you like we're here for you we're just like glad you could visit you know because they miss her company but it's just hard for her to be there i get it oh god okay <laughs> we're gonna move on i why am i in a wreck like why i gotta i gotta stop talking about this we're gonna move on all right babes we're on to the next track and it is called strawberry wine i definitely don't like strawberry wine or pink wine or white wine i'm a red wine girly through and through i don't know what strawberry wine we drinking but i'm assuming they're drinking it out the bottle and they're having a good old time around the fire some type of vibe like that orange juice was so sad though so no telling where strawberry wine's gonna go 
beautiful guitar playing. Try and speak to me, but don't you say a word. I'm in love with every song you've ever heard. If I could lose oh. you, I would. If I could lose you, I would. Chills. Strawberry wine and all the time we used to have. Those things I meant are These songs are stressing me out, like, I just don't know if there's gonna be some kind of, like, resolution at the end of this album. Like, we're already, I think this is track number eight or nine, we're already, like, so far in, and he still wants this person back in his life. And he's reminiscing on the old times. Let's make some new memories, let's make some good ones. No thing finds a man like love that makes him soft and sentimental. If I was empty space. I feel like I'm in a trance, bitch. Where did I go? Oh my god. I feel like I didn't talk for like three minutes. Not the whistle notes. Can't whistle that good, but I could a little bit. Mmm, we love a fade out on this channel. I feel like I had a really hard time paying attention to the lyrics of that one. I went back. And I looked at the lyrics a little bit. I really was trying to focus in on the line, if I was empty space and you were a formless shape, we'd fit. Like, I get, like, the empty space and, like, you know, a formless shape. Like, a shape that takes no form, so they could fit because it's just an empty space. But if they were a circle, for example, and he was a square, it wouldn't work out. Like, I get that, but it's a really deep line, honestly. I'm really worried about the next track because this is one of the ones I starred growing sideways and I'm super stressed out about it. Listening to this album and how he's not open to new perspective, it's making me think even more like, okay, you grow and it's like a linear growth or, you know, you just, you're going up, you're growing. But if he's growing sideways, it's just stagnant. Like there's no growing. He is stuck in his old ways. So that's kind of like what it's making me think. Like he, there's no growth. It's just the same. That's what it's making me think, growing sideways. So I took my medication and I poured my trauma out in leather couch and the oh, argued about therapy? Jesus. Finally found some middle ground. Keep the bad seed in my liver and the rest around my heart. I'm still angry and I move sideways until I forget what I felt in the first place. I know there are worse ways to stay alive. I'm terrified that I might never have met me. He's scared that since it, he feels like he's never grown, that he's never even like seen who he truly is. He's been stuck in this old way that he's just repeated this old routine and you know, stick season vibes, whatever. And he is just like, whoa, like there's this whole life that I might not know about that I haven't explored, you know? Now that he's going to therapy and he's talking about it, he's like, holy shit, like, who am I? He's really coming to that realization. No, wait, no. Spend my savings at a Now I'm suffering style. so Spent my savings at a Lulu. Now I'm suffering in style. Dude, I have never bought anything from Lululemon. I think it's just so expensive. Like, I can't spend my money on that, bro. Maybe I'll buy something one day, but the bank account says no, sweetie, right now. I ignore things and I move sideways Till I forget the day I know there are worse ways to stay alive Home's growing and everyone's healthy I'm terrified Everyone's growing and everyone's healthy, sir. That is not true, like, 
there's definitely people who can relate to like what you're singing about. Oh no, don't drive on empty. You need to feel filled. Sorry, I'm back to the oh and if my engine works perfect on empty, I guess I'll drive. I hate that line because let's like relating it to a car when it's empty, it doesn't move, but he still feels empty. And his engine, you know, his physical body's still working. So I guess he guesses he'll drive, he'll keep going with life, but he feels so empty emotionally. Like there's nothing there filling him up with happiness. And I, that is just, oh my God. Like that thought is just so intense to compare it to like putting gas in a car and one empty. Like, I don't know, that's a really deep like thought. That he was gonna say he needs to change his ways but he's just i guess i'll drive mr khan what the hell not having something that emotionally drives you every day and just wanting to feel numb instead of actually feeling like no what happened i thought we were going to therapy and we were feeling better that track is called halloween i feel like it's gonna be the ghost of like this girl he keeps referring to or how this town is a ghost town and I don't know. Definitely something with ghosts I feel like is gonna come up in this song because it's called Halloween. Saving the way to a place I'm afraid of the dawn isn't here. Can buy days with the coast along shore and make a money to me. That's that I heard you down in New Orleans working the days. Hi, that's me. <laughs> New Orleans is like my home. I'm not currently living there, but that's where I'm gonna live. Like, whenever I can actually settle down. Dude, I love New Orleans. <laughs> I drink till I drown and I smoke till I'm burning and your hands are all over me. You worry for me and it's fine if we know it won't change. I'm leaving this town and I'm changing my address. I know that you come. What? It's not Halloween, but the ghost you dressed up as sure knows how to haunt. Yes, it knows how to haunt. I'm wondering if like this person came back to the small town for a visit and they like, you know, just dressed how they usually would in the past and he's seen them and it's the past memories are all flooding back and like haunting him. Murder of crows in the low light off Boston, and I see your face in each me and my life on the screen. Ooh, that was pretty. Dude, the production is gonna slay me right here. Oh. The violins. Is it violence or fiddles? It sounds like both of them. Oh. I don't really know what to say about a lot of these songs, y'all. They're just so sad. Like the fact that it's called Halloween, but it wasn't Halloween, he just feels spooked. I guess I'm gonna go into the next track. I don't really know what to say. Like, I feel like I'm just getting a little overwhelmed from this album. The next track is called Homesick. Definitely sucks when you feel homesick. I've definitely felt that before. Such great motivation. I don't know 
maybe this is my track maybe we're maybe we're moving on maybe we're moving on i'm not sure but he said this place is such great motivation for anyone trying to move the f away from hibernation let's explore let's figure out who we are i hope that's where we're going but the song's called homesick so i'm confused oh we sick at home Like you always see on the shows they're so like snappy and mean i mean maybe it also like just like, appreciate the straightforwardness definitely coming from the south people be putting up fronts like if they don't like you um you probably you might know that but they're gonna be fake they're gonna kill you with fake niceness i can guarantee being from the south that's how it be which i don't mind honestly i mean i mean i'd rather be like nice and like tell people to off i mean that's just how i am but i get it going on i thought we were getting out of the town not we're still homesick like we're sick of home but you don't have a reason to leave why is there not a reason to leave you're he, he's listed so many in this goddamn track but yet he doesn't have a reason to leave i don't get it i don't get it like genuinely Productioning now, for sure. Okay, I have beef with this song, and I'm just gonna be honest. I am totally fine with people wanting to stay where they are, and you know, dying in the house they grew up in. Whatever is your vibe, whatever truly makes you happy. But he has said multiple times in this goddamn album that he is not happy and that, you know, he low-key wants to leave, but he now he's saying like he even in this track that he can't find reasons, even though he's listed like at least like probably 30 reasons why he should leave and wants to. But then he's like, I'm homesick. But it, I think it's like the reverse, like he's sick of home, I think. I could be interpreting it wrong. He's saying so many like negative things about it. Which I get if it's still home, but I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. Like, maybe he just doesn't want to leave because, like, he can't. He feels like he can't. Like, I get that, but I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this album, bro. I don't. I don't think there's gonna be any resolution of him like leaving and exploring. Like, but I feel like he's done that. I mean, he's an artist. I feel like as an artist, obviously, he has to tour and stuff. So he's definitely exploring and shit. I'm just having a hard time with these tracks because. I can't get behind how he says there's no reasons. He listed so many in these goddamn songs. I can't agree with that. Next track is called Still. Are we still at home? Are we still thinking about how we want to get out, but we're not going to leave? Which I totally get there's barriers that keep people there. I think I'm just having a hard time like with this album because... I don't know. It's just, it's seeming like he... I'm hearing one thing, but then like... What he says he does is another and i'm not sure why he's not changing or trying to accept new perspective accept self-growth it's like he wants to it's like he's self-sabotaging and I, i'm just kind of having a hard time i think i might just like not be understanding this album i don't know it's definitely different than what i usually listen to but if y'all have any insights let, drop some down in the comments please help me figure this out i am confused the next track is called so let's see what this is about I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say goodbye. You only fall from the place when you fall into pieces. Okay. I love the last so while if you lose the reason saying come in. Don't know whether you want a place in the coast of the country. You can't stay here, it's hard to face. It feels too ugly when you fall. It's like I'm still here with you. It's like I'm still here with you. Coming back with the light of the morning. Look down on myself like a patient and 
surgery and I used to watch my mother move. And I used to watch my mother move like God was on their own. Dude, mothers are powerful. I genuinely don't know how a woman can do motherhood. Not only that, but also work. And do wifehood to have to take care of their husbands. How the f a woman so powerful? The song's kind of making me think maybe he's not talking about a person, and it's kind of making me think he actually like did leave, maybe. And but he still has this box that he travels with, and he's opening it, and he's saying it's like I'm still here with you, like this old version of himself, and he can't let that old version go, and he still wants. Not necessarily wants to be that old version, but he's like caught up in it, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if it does. You miss something that you can't place, but can't deny it. It's, it's called still, like he's maybe still holding on or something. There's something about it, which nothing wrong like if he loves home, but hopefully it's not about like love because I feel like he's been holding on the whole album and I'm just worried. All right, the last track on this album is called The View Between Villages. I was definitely interested in this one at first glance of the title. I just feel like he's gonna be talking about the view in the country and how it's so beautiful in between like these villages or maybe like cities. You know, there's something like super beautiful about just the nature that lies between cities. The beauty on the skyline with the nature, oof, it hits. I think I've had a really hard time with this album. I just, I don't know if I'm misinterpreting some things or if it's just making me feel, it makes me feel like sad. And I mean, it is really hard for people to get out of that life and to want to change or I don't know, want to grow. Like wanting to grow isn't easy. It's easier to just stay with what you know. I think I'm just having a hard time with the feelings, I guess. I don't know. But we're going to get into this last track. And thank y'all so much if you still watch. And thank you. And you probably like sad songs. <laughs> See how we're going to wrap it up. Slow start. Really soft right now. so focused on the lyrics sorry y'all but i want to just appreciate his vocals and the production they are amazing truly stellar this is like some good ass like production and beautiful vocals i just feel like i've been having a hard time saying i appreciate it as much just because the lyrical content has me sideways like we're going sideways bitch i'm trying to figure this out okay before you knew what the world was really like. I'm not scared of death. I've got dreams again. Okay, he's got dreams. This is sounding hopeful. because I'm happy that he's happy. Ooh, production change. Last track. Just that I'm back between villages and everything still. Like getting out and you're like so happy and hopeful, but it's like you can't even get away because all your family, your lineage is there. Oh, I'm not 
crying right now. I'm not crying. Let's finish this goddamn track. Please don't say anything else. Let's just state it out and call it. Such a slow fade out. Wow. Of course it had to end like that. <laughs> it's so hard to leave. And it's just you feel almost a sense of guilt leaving home. <laughs> this album, uh uh, no, no, no. I'm not listening to this. I like it, but I do think that like, the small town traumas are like being pulled to the surface from my brain and I don't want to listen to it again. <laughs> I think he's a great writer and I love the production. The music is beautiful and he has stellar vocals, but I don't want to listen to these tracks again. I don't necessarily relate so deeply, especially to like the feeling of like really just wanting someone to come back into my life. Um, I feel like I relate more to the girl he was talking about who needed to get out. That's me. I feel like some of the elements that he talks about of just like how he says he's between villages and he's still and he's just parked. Like I get that. I get that feeling. I just feel like this album was like a hard listen. I don't know. I had to I stopped like halfway through and had to like take a break. Like I don't know. I feel like it was a really hard listen, but like I wanted to see what all the hype was about Noah Khan, but this was rough. This was a rough album for me. I feel like the style of music was also hard for me because I'm not like super familiar with the folk genre. That being said, this is like my first listen also, so this could change. I could go stream this and fall in love with it. It's just hard because I'm not used to this like sound of music and the subject matter was really like, it just reminded me a lot about like the town, the small town life and like family. And I don't know if that's, that's not necessarily something I want to be streaming like on repeat, if you know what I mean. I love a man who can be emotionally vulnerable with an audience. Like, I really appreciate that about him. Felt like I was rooting for him a lot, but then he still wasn't leaving and that was hard for me. I wanted to see him get out. And even in the end, it seems like he does, but he's stuck. And that feeling, I totally get. <sighs> if I have to pick a top three, I think my favorites were Come Over. Something about that track was, oh, beautiful. Just the, the way he would say come over and like the, the vocal on the over was just amazing i loved that one the view between villages i mean i liked how it wrapped it up you know i like how the it, he wrapped up the album with that song even though he's still stuck and you know hard to let it hard to get out like i totally liked how he ended with that song because it definitely was a reflection of like the whole album for sure i really liked the song stick season as well even though like i don't necessarily think i understand it fully how everyone leaves the town and they come back for the holidays like i don't know i feel like i'm getting vibes from that song and i don't know it calls out to me so i really like that track as well i hope that i like the reaction sorry about being so confused i feel like i'm having a hard time understanding some of the tracks and if you made it to the end babes you already know you're beautiful and sexy and thank you so much for watching all the way through please subscribe it really helps the channel and stay on top of the community tab y'all i'd be asking for y'all opinions on there what videos y'all want to see next what videos y'all want me to film next and i just be asking about how y'all day trying to check in with y'all how are y'all doing how are y'all feeling what are the vibes i'm gonna go decompress after listening to this album but i hope that y'all have a lovely day or a beautiful night and i'll see y'all soon with a new video later babes